Hi, this is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God and today we're going to continue in our series about bringing revival to your home, to your church, to your community, to the United States and um, I'm going to be sharing out of my book Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times and today um, we're going to talk about the gospel of the poor uh, the gospel of the kingdom that Jesus preached to the poor now uh, first of all uh, Jesus said this gospel of the kingdom will be preached as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come so the gospel of the kingdom is just now beginning to be understood that the kingdom is within us and it's in power um, and Jesus in Luke 4 um, 15 or 4 something he says um, the kingdom of God, uh, let's see, let me see if I can find that, Luke, I believe it's Luke 4, 18, he says, and uh, the anointing was on him to preach the gospel to the poor, to set captives free, to set the oppressed free, um, to set at liberty those that are oppressed, and it goes through the whole list, but the first thing it says is that um, he preached the gospel to the poor, so uh, that's chapter 16 in my book here, so I'm going to go over preaching the gospel of the kingdom to the poor. First of all, the gospel means good news, and the kingdom is the is uh, the king's dominion. And Jesus came back. Jesus came to the earth to give us back the kingdom because our mandate is in Genesis, I believe it's 126, where he says uh, uh, God gave all dominion and authority to man and told him to rule and subdue over everything. And that means we're to take back what um, Satan stole. Um, okay, so the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And I have a mockingbird here that's after my cat, so that's what that chirping is. My cat eats its babies if I don't rescue it from its mouth, and so the bird gets mad and tries to save the babies, but the cat always ends up getting them. So I have a mad mockingbird here. Um, okay, anyway, um, let me see here. This is something really, really important. Um, Matthew 12, 18 says, Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved in, beloved in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will declare justice to the Gentile. Gentile. So everything that Jesus did um, was declaring justice. The kingdom of God is uh, God's kingdom and domain uh, being uh, enforced and taken um, from the devil in this world. And... Um, Justice is that Jesus paid the price for us to have authority and dominion, so we're taking it back. Uh, so justice is not having being poor anymore, and it is Luke 4:18, and this is what it actually says: The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set at liberty those that are oppressed, and it goes on. And the word here, poor, that word means, uh, in the original language, means humble, meek, needy, weak, and afflicted. And poverty is oppression, and oppression is always from the devil. Um, and the Bible in Psalms 1, uh, 12, 5 talks about this, and also 1 John 3, 8 um, says that Jesus was uh, manifested that he would destroy the works of the devil. So poverty is the work of the devil, and Jesus came to destroy it. And um, let's see, in Psalms 83, 4, it says, that he wants us to defend the poor and the fatherless and do justice to the afflicted and the needy. And uh, power, our Old Testament, uh, the, the covenant in the Old Testament to Abraham, which is given to us, where uh, Galatians 3.13, Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law so that the blessings of Abraham would come upon us and the promise of the Holy Spirit. Um, and the blessings of Abraham has to do with being rich and prosperous. And... Um, that is for us today, and that's God's will for us today, to be prosperous in everything we do. Poverty is under, poverty is part of the fallen world, uh, part of the world, the kingdom system of Satan. Uh, poverty, uh, Jesus said, uh, I mean, I believe it was Paul said that we're to imitate God as dear children. And um, God is not poor, God does not lack in anything, and if you had all the money you need, it can, you, you wouldn't... Uh, you would be able to do everything that the gospel, everything that needs to be done in the gospel to get this end time harvest in. Uh, money is not wicked. It's a love of money. When you love money and love things instead of God. And here's a test that you can go through. Um, if you, if 
you love something so much you can't let it go. If God tells you to give your car to somebody and you just can't give it, caught your car away because you love it so much and it's so precious and so valuable to you and you know that you know that you heard from God and you can't do that, then you're loving things more than God. Now don't go give away your car unless you're sure it's from God and he wouldn't ask you to do that unless your faith was at a level where you knew you heard from God. Um, okay, here's some other things. Um, we are to live like kings because we are kings. And if you read Isaiah 3, 18 through 26, it talks about all the things that a king has. Is, uh, uh, talks about or ornaments tingling around their feet, ornaments on their feet, um, chains, bracelets, bonnets, ornaments on their legs, headbands, uh, earrings, rings, nose rings, uh, changes of suits, mantles, um, glasses, fine linen, hoods, veils, sweet smelling, uh, well set hair, and beauty. Those are all things from uh, that a king would wear. Also in Ezekiel 16, 8 and 13, it talks about the same thing, that kings were broidered work, badger skin, fine linen, silk, ornaments, bracelets, chains, jewelry, earrings, fine crowns, uh, gold and silver, rain, uh, the clothing is linen, linen, silk, and broidered work. They have fine flour, honey, and oil, and they were exceedingly beautiful, and they prosper. Okay, now as... God's kids, that's, there's enough, you put enough of this on the earth so that all of us can live in prosperity, that not one person has to have it all, but all of us can live blessed and in prosperity. That was his intent, like on earth, like it is in heaven. So that's a little bit about uh, the wealth uh, that we're supposed to have and the prosperity. That prosperity doctrine is a, is a fought thing because the devil knows if we are prosperous and rich, uh, then we can give and sow and bless people and help people because number one thing I want you to remember from today's recording is poverty is bondage and oppression um, if you're poor you are a slave you have to do certain things because you're poor you can't there is no freedom in poverty so um, that's it for today uh, and that's um, from my chapter um, 16 the gospel of the kingdom to the poor uh, check out those scriptures, and uh, tomorrow we'll talk a little bit of, more about this, uh, about uh, prosperity and how the gospel, to the, king, the gospel of the kingdom to the poor is the first thing that Jesus mentioned when he talks about the gospel of the kingdom. And my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And I'm